All right, the goal on this is we're given an equation. We're told to verify that this is actually an identity and we're gonna use the double angle formula to help us out along the way. So I went and brought the double angle formula for sine. That's not part of this problem, but if I noticed that it was part of, you know, it started out as one plus sine of two theta over here on the left-hand side. So I figured we may wanna use this formula at some point. So I went ahead and grabbed it. To get going on this though, instead of starting with the left-hand side, I'm actually gonna begin with the right-hand side. That looks slightly more complicated than the left-hand side, although they're very similar. On the right-hand side, what I can do is I'm going to visualize this as two copies of this set of parentheses multiplied together. So I'm going to write this as sine of theta plus cosine of theta multiplied by a second copy of sine of theta plus cosine of theta. So I'm actually starting with the right-hand side. It means the same thing. That's what an exponent means is that many copies of the base multiplied together. Next, I'm actually just going to distribute or multiply this out, FOIL, if you will. So we're gonna, we're gonna get sine squared of theta first, outer, inner, and then last. All right, now on the outer and the inner, I went ahead and put the sine first and then the cosine second. The order doesn't really matter. These are equivalent, right? They mean the same thing. All right, from here, because these are the same thing, whether you wrote cosine of theta multiplied by sine of theta in the opposite order or not, I'm gonna combine those together. So just combining like terms, I'm gonna say that, well, we have two copies of the same thing. So that's two sine of theta, cosine of thetas. Bringing the sine squared along, bringing the cosine squared along from the end. All right, from here, I next notice that we have sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta, and I could rearrange these and put them right next to each other, but I'm not going to. Instead, I know those combine together and make a one, and they do so based on the Pythagorean theorem. Or rather, I probably should call it the Pythagorean identity, sine squared plus cosine squared equals one. So that's where that comes from. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and bring along the plus two sine of theta, cosine of theta from the middle. Now I'm gonna jump over here and use this formula, the double angle formula for sine. As you can see, we have two sine of theta, cosine of theta is equivalent. It's equal to sine of two theta. So we can replace two sine of theta, cosine of theta with sine of two theta. And that's exactly what we wanted uh, this to look like, just like the left-hand side over here, one plus sine of two theta. So we've proven it and we are done. Um, this, by the way, was a double angle formula um, to go from two sine of theta, cosine of theta to sine of two theta. So I hope this helps as you're verifying identities. Start with a more difficult side, use the formulas and reduce down using your algebra.